Did Tolkien make a mistake whilst writing The Lord of the Rings? A la Tulia Meldonia a Haramari essay, my name is Rainbow Dave and welcome to another Tolkien fun fact video. Now, today's fun fact is one concerning the dwarves of Khazad-dûm, but to be honest, this fact raises a question that I really don't know the answer to. So we're told in the Silmarillion that Khazad-dûm was the greatest of all the mansions of the dwarves, and Tolkien goes on to say that it went by many names, the Dwarodelf, Hathodrond in the elvish tongue, and afterwards in the days of its darkness was called Moria. Now there is an interesting side note here because although we have three separate names for this place, Khazad-dûm, Hathodrond, and Dwarodelf, they all actually mean the exact same thing, just in three separate languages. You see, Hathod is just the Sindarin way of pronouncing the word Khazad, and Dwarodelf is just a Rohiric word, that's a real world Old English word, that means Dwaro's delving. In fact, Tolkien actually invented the word dwarves that we all use every day, and before that the only plural was either dwarfs, as in Snow White and the Seven, or the Old English plural Dwaro. Anyway, by far the most famous name for Khazad-dûm is Moria, which of course means the Black Pit or the Black Chasm. And this is not a flattering name. That Moor prefix, which means dark, is seen all over Middle-earth, but it often has very negative connotations. For example, there is Mordor, Morgul, Moranon, Mormegil, and of course, Morgoth. Now to be fair, there are also a few positive examples, like Morwen and Moriquendi, but in the case of Moria, we're told explicitly that this elven word was used only after the awakening of Durin's Bane, and thus it was a disparaging term used only in the days of its darkness. So, I feel like you'd get some pretty dirty looks if you went to visit Khazad-dûm during the period of its prosperity and referred to it as the Black Pit. And yet, that is exactly what Celebrimbor of Oregion ended up doing. Now, I know there is a very long-standing historical rivalry between elves and dwarves, and the main reason for this is the dark series of events that led to the murder of the Sindarin king at the hands of the dwarves of Nogrod in the First Age. So, it makes sense that the other Sindarin elves, and later the Silvan, whom the Sindar rule over, don't have a great relationship with the Firebeards and the Broadbeams of the Blue Mountains. But the Longbeards of Khazad-dûm and the Noldor of Eregion have no reason to dislike each other. And we know that they didn't. Again, in the Silmarillion we are told that a friendship arose between dwarves and elves such as has never elsewhere been. In fact, Celebrimbor, the Lord of Eregion, who of course forged the elven rings, supposedly hand-delivered one of the dwarven rings to King Durin III in person. And he even aided the great dwarven craftsman Narvi in building the magical doors of Durin, which is the west gate where the Fellowship will eventually one day enter. In fact, Celebrimbor even carved the elven inscription above the door, which reads Enin Durin Aran Moria, Pedor Melon Amino, Im Navi Hayenechant, Celebrimbor Oe Region Tethant Ithiwihin. Now, fortunately for those of us who don't speak Sindarin, Gandalf translates this into The Doors of Durin. Lord of Moria, speak friend and enter. I, Narvi, made them. Celebrimbor of Holin drew these signs. So my question is this. Why on earth did Celebrimbor think it was okay to use the word Moria 
to describe Khazad Doom at the height of its power and glory. It's so rude. No wonder dwarves find elves kind of haughty. Just imagine if the dwarves started calling Greenwood the Great Mirkwood thousands of years before it became so murky. I just don't see why the dwarves of Khazad Doom would be okay with this inscription on their back door. Now, in the appendices of The Lord of the Rings, in Appendix F, Tolkien does tell us that Moria is an elvish name, and given without love. For the Eldar were not dwellers in such places of choice. They were lovers of the green earth and the lights of heaven, and Moria in their tongue means the black chasm. So maybe Celebrimbor wasn't trying to be offensive, he was just being brutally honest. And to be fair, this isn't the first time that elves insult dwarves with their language. You know, the Sindarin word for dwarves is Naugrim, which translates as the stunted people. So that's certainly not flattering either. I guess the other explanation might be that Gandalf simply changed the word Khazad-dûm to the more current name of Moria when he was translating the inscription for the Fellowship. But this doesn't solve the problem entirely, because if you open up the Fellowship of the Ring and you take a look at the Journey in the Dark chapter, you will see an illustration that is hand-drawn by Tolkien himself. And in this illustration, we can see the word Moria written clear as day in the Tengwa script. Although, you could argue that Tolkien is off the hook because, remember The Lord of the Rings was written by Frodo Baggins in the Red Book of Westmarch. And according to Tolkien, all he did was translate it from Westron into English. So, any mistakes or discrepancies are technically on Frodo and not on the Professor. Anyway, I hope you found this fun fact interesting, and until next time, dear friends, as always, much love. Stay groovy, and Nevaya Melanine. <laughs>